You know, sometimes I really hate being a fortune teller, but I am a student of history, and history can teach us a great deal about the future. Interactions and things that have happened in history will happen and will reoccur in the future, and this is another great example. How many videos ago or how many days ago now what I was, was I saying when people are saying, West Virginia is the only state that doesn't have a case, and I said most likely it's a testing issue. Most likely it's a testing issue. Wow. West Virginia Senator says the state reported no coronavirus cases up until yesterday because it had no tests available, but now it will be catastrophic. And I was saying it from the beginning that, yeah, it's because there's a, a testing issue in West Virginia. That's why they're not reporting any cases. It's there. Once it's there, they're going to find out it's way worse than what it is because they haven't reported any cases. That, to me, told me they hadn't caught any of the cases and they were all walking around there for the last two weeks while the rest of us were having case after case after case come up for two weeks West Virginia's had cases walking around there festering and I said that from the beginning but yeah I am too small a YouTuber for my voice to even matter for my voice to even be heard for any but those who are the most curious and the most adamant about knowing what's going on in the world so congratulations you are amongst the very few the very few who want to be informed West Virginia Senator has said the only reason they did not report any cases of coronavirus until yesterday was because they didn't have the tests to find it out. Who could have thunk that? On Wednesday, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin said it created a false sense of security that the state's residents were immune to it when in fact many are old and particularly vulnerable. I lived in... Excuse me. I lived in Clarksburg. There is a, a space issue there. There's a definite information uh, communication issue there. Um, in a lot of areas, a lot of areas, people don't know the news until it's two or three days old. But yeah, yeah. I saw this coming from the beginning. I, I just don't understand. They had a false sense of security. And then what is this dumb thing about thinking that the residents were immune to it? How dumb does anybody have to be to think that they're immune to this thing that's affecting everybody else? What, what state of uh, self-grandiose do you have to have to think that? And I know someone from West Virginia. I used to live there. And I spoke to them, and they were saying, yeah, people here, we're, we're immune to it. We're immune to it. We're immune to it. And I kept telling them, no, you're not. You're, you're, you're not tested for it. You're not tested for it. You're not tested for it. What a grandiose point of view to think you're immune to it. I thought it was just carnage waiting to happen. I wanted to make sure that people understood that they shouldn't get a false sense of security. And other people outside of West Virginia... You know, I mean, they were even saying, well, what does West Virginia have that we don't? What is it about West Virginia? I said, look, a virus doesn't respect borders. A virus doesn't even know what a border is. It sees you as a target, a meal, a way to propagate, a way to, for it to divide and basically the meaning of life, have its own young. Look, see, the virus is not much different than us on the basic initial instinctual level. It wants to live. It sees you as a meal ticket, a shelter, a source of water. You are the virus's bug out location. You are the virus's bug out location. Think about that one for a minute. Up until a couple of days ago, we only had 40 tests done. Now I think we're at 130 or so. But with that being said, we have no testing. We are not prepared. People think that we are immune from this. And yes, people generally that I was speaking to were thinking in West Virginia. Hey, Auntie, we're saying that they were immune. C come on now, common sense people. I thought it was just carnage waiting to happen. I wanted to make sure that people understood that they shouldn't get a false sense of security. When it hits my state, and it has hit, it's going to be absolutely catastrophic, he told CNN. Lack of testing has led many experts to say the true number of cases of the virus is far greater than is being reported. Yes, and it is. Once we tally up West Virginia's new com coming cases, and you got to think about it, they've got two weeks of people without having any reported cases, and as time went on, they slowly peeked their heads out and said, well, nothing's happening yet. And this is how it happened. I know I've got a lot of people in West Virginia that I've spoken to. Well, nothing's happened. Nothing's happening. Well, okay. And then as time went on, they got this false sense of security. And then they had bravado. We're immune. We're immune. And this is what people were saying in West Virginia. We're immune. We're immune to the virus. We can't get it. We can't get it. No. You've got it. You just don't know it. 
A lot of you are going to be asymptomatic. But these numbers are going to be added to the tally that we have now. And yeah, history will be made. A recent study by the Kaiser Family Foundation found that 51% of the population of West Virginia can be considered vulnerable compared to just 31% in Washington, D.C. and 40% in New York. Which is why it's so dire in West Virginia because they do have a lot of old people. It's like the Florida out there. It's, it's like a little mini Florida. There are a lot of old people in, in West Virginia. There really are. An article for The Atlantic, one Army healthcare worker from, the, from West Virginia said the state's healthcare system will be overwhelmed by the coronavirus outbreak, which means then other states will pitch in to help and those states will be strained and it's just a domino effect all the way around. We're all in this together, people. We're all in this together. Don't have grandiose ideas. Don't think you're immune. Wash. Don't act any different than you are for the cold and flu season. You Don't you? I mean, most people I know take extra care during cold and flu season and if you feel sick or bad, you stay at home. Simple as that. You don't be a bonehead like people and go licking toilets on airplanes just to prove nothing. You don't go around purposely kissing people saying that, oh, I can't get coronavirus because I'm young, dumb, and full of cum. Well, I'm sorry, young, dumb, and full of cum. You're still human. You ain't bulletproof. I know you think you are. I at one time did too, but you ain't. None of us are. The Surgeon General Jerome Adams said, or Jeremy Adams, whichever it is, said that the practical advice for Americans was to stay at home for the next 15 days and avoid social gatherings, but it would likely take longer to stunt the spread of the virus. It did not likely, it will, it will. 15 days is not long enough. Why are we stuck on stupid on this 14, 15 day time period? 30 to 45 days, we know that. The virus can live 30 to 45 days. We've had cases of 24 days where someone had the virus, was released. 24 days later, uh, uh, didn't have the virus, I apologize. Tested for the virus, uh, tested clean. 24 days later, had the symptoms. They tested it. Yeah, it's a strain that can... So, I mean, why are we stuck on stupid? Why are we stuck on stupid? If we can get America to pitch in for the next 15 days, we can flatten the curve, yes. And it's not about stopping... The virus. There is no stopping the virus. It's about slowing it down so we don't overload the healthcare system, so we don't wind up in Italy's shoes. Almost 500 new cases, 500 new deaths, I'm sorry, just in one day. It's absurd, man. That's absurd. That's absurd. That's absurd. Anyways, I'm sorry to my friends in West Virginia. I know I bash you a little bit. It's all in good fun. I love you guys. You guys stay care, take care, and you guys stay safe and be informed. I'll see you guys in the next one.